here's your EO Live weather forecast. Hope all of you great into the work week. Gabe Curtis reporting on this January 20th. We are currently looking for new sponsors. Your business logo and message could be displayed right here five times a week on EOA weather. The sides have topped out into low to mid 30s for much of us today, with the exception for that warm spot 43 in Pendleton, that cold spot 19 in Burns. And out the door this evening into the Grand, we're looking at mostly clear skies, but expecting passing clouds overnight tonight. But much of our region will stay clearer than not, dropping much of us into the mid to the upper teens, with the exception for that warm spot 26 in Pendleton. Dramatic difference out towards Burns, that cold spot negative 7. That's where I'm expecting the least amount of cloud cover producing a few areas of fog out towards the southern half of our region. Heading into the day tomorrow, much of us will be topping out into the 30s with the exception for warmest into John Day and Pendleton, low to mid 40s. Lots of sunshine to start out your day before more gloom works its way in during the second half of the day, bringing some scattered showers as early as mid to late afternoon up towards our far north. That increases and becomes steady at times throughout the evening. Not the case out towards our south. I'm expecting that moisture to remain much more scattered. In fact, not even tracking a chance of any snow showers out that way until after sunset. But once we progress through the evening hours and approach midnight, expecting a dusting into two inches of snow as low as 2,000 feet, two inches won't be guaranteed until you get up above 5,000 feet with upwards of Six inches into our highest elevations, but these snow totals will double going into Sunday. Heading into the day tomorrow for LeGrand, it looks like this will start out into low 20s at the 8 o'clock hours. Just a few clouds around, but sunshine will be the story, beginning with a slight southeasterly breeze. Those winds will turn to the south during the day, gust up. 35, maybe 40 miles per hour in spots as those clouds thicken mid to late afternoon, bringing a few snow showers as early as the 4 o'clock hour. That increases through the 6 o'clock hour when I'm expecting steady, maybe even slightly heavier snow. It could still be steady through the 8 o'clock hour, but much more lighter rates by that point as those winds become lighter and turn to the southwest as snow continues off and on overnight, dropping those temperatures into the mid 20s. Highs continue into the mid 30s throughout the remainder of the weekend. We could see another wave of steady snow as you wake up Sunday morning before that becomes scattered and gets on out of here, becomes dry by the evening hours. But weekend snowfall totals look to be between a trace to four inches across the mountainous valleys. Four inches seem to be guaranteed once you get up above 5,000 feet with upwards of a foot as you get higher through our mountains. As we get my seven day forecast, dry conditions to start out the work week with those highs back into the upper 30s, overnight lows, upper teens to low 20s before thicker cloud cover moves in Tuesday into Wednesday, producing a slight chance for a few isolated showers. Otherwise, most models agree on dry conditions throughout the week with more sunshine the second half of it as those highs warm into the upper 30s to low 40s and lows back into the mid 20s. But there is one particular model that wants to bring some snow in into Friday. Although I'm not buying it yet, I will keep an eye as we get into next week. This has been Gabe Curtis bringing the most accurate forecasting and get ear needs from Oregon. Hope all of you have a blessed weekend and I will be back on Monday.